Good afternoon everyone, welcome to another unboxing video and today we're going to be looking at my Kickstarter copy of Trogdor, the board game. So, Trogdor um, is, an, is an interesting one. Um, it's actually a, a game that's based off of an old web series that I used to be really fond of um, called Homestar Runner. And in this web series there is a character called uh, Strongbad uh, who has a, a kind of set of um, sketches really where he answers emails from, uh, from his fans. And these even though these were kind of an offshoot of the, the web series, these actually became probably the most um, famous or, or most well-received segment. Um, and in one of the emails, someone wrote in and uh, asked him to design a character. Um, and one of the characters he designed was this, uh, Trogdor. So Trogdor is a, a big beefy dragon um, with very small wings and one really strong arm. And he is very fond of uh, roaming around the lands and burninating peasants. That's kind of his thing. Uh, so, in this game, it says here, it's a cooperative game of burnination, majesty and consummate Vs by the Brothers Chaps and James Ernest. So the Brothers Chaps are the, the designers of Homestar Runner and James Ernest, I believe, would be the designer that, um, that, that, that kind of helped put the game together. Okay, so you can see here, nice uh, nice attractive cover. This is the, I think it's the Wing-a-Wing uh, edition, which, is the, which isn't the, the one with the, the plastic miniatures, it's just the, the wooden meeples. Um, I just I, I, I kind of preferred the aesthetic of that, so I didn't really want to spend any more for the extra um, uh, plastic miniatures that I, I don't really like the look of as much. So I'll just flip it around to the back and we can see here, um, burning at the countryside, we've got the board here, which is just a set of tiles, we've got all the different meeples, some cards, um, and then here just kind of a wee... Um, Kind of blurb about the game, about um, you know what the, the purpose of the game is. A list of all the components, which I really like, because it's always good to be able to check that. Art by a uh, Chris is it Schwieser, and produced by Missy Palmer. Um, so yeah, and you can say 2018. So this was uh, I, I received this. Uh, it was probably about um, probably about three weeks ago now. I think I received my Kickstarter copy. So it's been a kind of kind of while before I could kind of put this video together. Um, oh, and the publisher here, Board Electric, um, up in the, the top uh, left there. Okay, so without further ado, let's crack it open and see what lies inside. Okay, just try to pull off the cling film here. Alright, that should be us. Okay, there's the cling film removed, and now we will lift the lid and see what lurks within. Okay, oh brilliant! So first of all, um, we've got the uh, game rules here, just so A5 kind of size, and let's see, 15 pages, lots of illustrations, very colourful, so yeah, at a glance looks like a pretty Good rule book, diagrams, you know, placements and movements, you know, different kind of backgrounds for the different pages, you know, we illustrations. Yep, so I'm happy with that. Looks like a, a good solid rule book. Um, but what really kind of wowed me was we've got a wee insert here for all the stuff. I wasn't really expecting that. I don't know why not, but yeah, so we've got an insert there. We have this here, which I think is just a spacer. So it just, as you can see, um, yeah, it just kind of takes up that. This may, maybe this is reserved for expansions, I'm not too sure. Who knows? Right, so we'll just set that to the side. We'll have a look, look at uh, what's in the tray. Now, I don't think there's, there's a ton of stuff here, but we'll have a look anyway. So first of all, in the bag here, we've got um, sets of meeples. So I'll just open the bags. So you can see here, these are the... I'll just try and get that into the camera there. And these are the, the kind of peasant. Uh, meeples. I'll just take one out just so you can see it a wee bit better. Yeah, so that really got quite a nice design, quite quite fat kind of meeples, but you know, um, I really I really like these kind of minimalist designs. You know, things like root, for example. You know, the meeples and that. I really like that um, that kind of style. Um, we also have 
meeples here for the huts, so it's like a kind of thatched roof hut. And then on the other side, we have this burninated state. So that's pretty cool. Um, so we've got any of those. We also have, yep, yeah, so it's like a little flame meeple. And the idea is, is that when a peasant is being burninated, this is really quite good, it sits on top like that. So that you know you can see that the peasant is in fire. Um, so yeah, that's that's really quite cool. Just let that focus. Um, and yeah, it's also, it's also a side with a, a red center as well. I think that's probably the side you should use actually. So that you can see, yeah, brilliant. Okay, so we've got peasants. We've got the burner nation. We also have various other um, meeples here. So we've got. Uh, where is Trogdor? Ah, here we go. Okay, so these are kind of the main ones for playing the game. So you've got uh, Trogdor himself. Um, you can see here he's um, he's actually I thought it would all be a solid color, but no, he's been painted. Um, so you can see there you've got the different color of arm and you've got some details there, which is pretty good. Um, you have the two archers, twin archers. I believe in fire, fire in opposite directions. So they're kind of the good guys that are trying to, well, to be to be honest, you're the good good guys. You're trying to burn the peasants, but these guys are trying to stop you. Um, we also have the knights that do the same kind of thing. They just kind of move around the map. So there's a couple of them, um, and that's it for that pack. But oh no, I think we've got the big big hammer knight here as well. Sorry, I missed him. I knew there was one more. But it looks to me that we also have um, what I think might be um, exclusive Kickstarter stuff. I'm not actually sure. Probably should have checked the the Kickstarter for you know the details of everything. But we've got uh, this here, which is a kind of sketchbook version of Trogdor, like when he was originally conceived, which is pretty cool. Um, blowing the flames there. Um, we also have um, some sort of other dragon. Yeah. It's been drawn, so that's one that you could use maybe instead. We have this guy here, I can't actually remember his name, but he's like a kind of spin off of Trogdor. He's like another character that was created in the series um, as a kind of uh, probably a parody of um, Trogdor. And then finally, we've got this thing here, which is a kind of weird serpent thing. I can't remember if that's maybe from an episode or not. It's in the same kind of style as Trogdor, so it wouldn't surprise me. And finally, for some reason, I've got this here as well. It's a uh, uh, Dagron, it says on it, which uh, is uh, an anagram, anagram of dragon. And then on the back, we've got Toaster's Choice. So, <laughs> I don't know. There's probably a story to that. Um, okay, so moving on, those were all the meeples. We also have um, a little... Uh, little uh, bag, uh, cloth bag here, stack them to the heavens and it has uh, a marshmallow on fire which I'm sure is from one of the strong bad emails, I'm sure that that character featured in one of them, I can't remember what it was about right enough. Uh, we also have the, the trog meter, uh, I think they missed a trick here, they could have called it the trogometer but it's just the trog meter um, and that tracks from 1 to 7 and there's also a trog hammer spot there at the top. We have large cards. These are the items of Trogdor. So they're in a kind of poly thing, so I'll need to crack them open. Um, we also have the playing cards. Again, the backs stack them to the heavens. Um, oh, right, okay, these, this is a, a rule set for a, a separate game that you can play with the meeples by the looks of it. Some sort of stacking game. Oh, that's maybe. Maybe that's what that's used for. I really need to look at this. Right, anyway, so that's another set of cards. And then we have, I think these are movement cards. So it'll let you move Trogdor a certain way, I think. And then the peasants will move another way. Yeah, so. And then finally, you've got the tiles that make up the actual uh, board. So as a kind of modular board in the sense that it will be different every time. So I'm just going to try and get this into... Yeah, they bring it back a wee bit, so you can see here, this is the arts, it's all kind of basic stuff, you know, just kind of countryside, trees, little pen there, different styles of trees, uh, thicker forests, little stone well, uh, yeah, and, and so on, flower patches, caves, and then on the back you've got the ruined side, the burninated side for all of them. 
So that's one of the goals of the game, I think, or I think that's maybe the main goal of the game, is to just burninate all the uh, tiles, areas, and peasants, and huts, and just, 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 you know, lay waste to the land, basically. So, we're going to crack open these cards and have a wee look to see what they're all about. Right, okay, there we go, I've got that off easy enough. Okay, so yeah, there you go, how to play, stack them to the heavens. Yeah, so that's a wee kind of two-player stacking game that you can play with the Meeples, that's a wee, a nice wee bonus. Uh, the Void, which on the other side, funnily enough, is also the Void. Brilliant. And then here we've got, these are the, I think, the cards that you can play um, to do various things. So you've got your block cards, um, your uh, consummate Vs, flip them up Dan's, hidey holes, sorry I'll try and get these in shot for you. Yeah, invisibility, Jonka Help, Majesty, Path of Burnination, Shot Putt, which is obviously some sort of lob shot that you can do. Sidewise, yeah, slantwise, smell the daisies, stump and rock, tunnel warp, wing a ling, <laughs> there's a wing a ling there. So you can see it doesn't take itself very seriously. A wrap around, which will let you go around the, the map. So from one end to the other. Trog hammer. Lots of trog hammers. Okay, excellent. So those are the playing cards. And then we've got this other deck here, um, which might be a bit more difficult for me to open because it doesn't seem to have one of those wee uh, foil, kind of gold foil tabs. So I just have to kind of bite it open, I think. Excuse the teeth. Okay, here we go. So, just a cheat. So this is a character from uh, Trogdor. He's uh, Tro one of Trogdor's companion. Um, who, he, uh, I don't know, he doesn't really mistreat him, but at the same time, you know, um, yeah, he's a bit of an unfortunate character. I quite like the cheat. Uh, we have Hardy Bardy. He has no special powers. Absolutely none. <laughs> so there you go. He makes up with his uselessness with cool costumes, pyrotechnics, and a deep overlordy voice available for parties and metal bands. Yes, this game really doesn't take it ser uh, ser seriously. So these are all the kind of, um, the kind of, um, basically you're kind of like, uh, you're working with a uh, Trogdor's part of a cult. So these are all the kind of cult members that you can play as, um, and they all have special powers. Well, with the exception of that one guy there. Yeah, so you can see there, uh, you've got Old Man Rub, which is an item you can use. He Flask of Dennis, brilliant. Um, super Trinket, you've got Distracto's Pouch, the Haunch Gurgler, yeah. Uh, Gorgolev, so they've all got quite interesting name, Cranjeg, <laughs> the Key Sword Tar, it's like a, a cross between a, well, a key tar and a sword, which means it's a cross between a keyboard, a guitar, and a sword. Wow. Uh, two gross beans. Just, just two gross beans. Shield of Cumbertail. Okay. Um, disc of Healing. Oh, it's a floppy disc. Brilliant. Uh, that's probably a reference to some of the older computers that uh, Strongbad used in the Strongbad email segments that used floppy disks. Uh, Lord Pasty Horn of Fangleburg. And I think, is that us back to where we were? No. Oh, no, we've got a trog floaty. Yeah. That dog tennis ball thing, except with fireballs. All right, yeah, the thing that you use. The two, I've got one of those, actually, for our dogs. It's a, a chucker. Just call it a chucker. Uh, the ring of VoIP. Is that a voice over IP? Is that what that's a reference to? Who knows? The baubles of Astray. Okay, and... We're back to the cheat. Just the cheat. He, duh, you can cheat. What this means is exactly up to you. Brilliant. Okay, so those are the kind of player cards and some of the items and things that you can get. And finally, the last deck of cards we have here is all the kind of movements and everything. I think these, these are the cards that get resolved for every turn. Um, I think they've all got the same back by the looks of it. Yep. Okay, so let's have a look. So you've got a movement path, 
and one um, in the right of the card, and then you've got how the peasants move on the left. Okay, and that's the number I think. So if there's a zero, if there's nothing on, does that mean no peasants move? Is that all peasants move? I don't know. So there you go. And it tells you how they move, how you can move. Yeah. Okay, and I think they're all pretty much like that. Yeah, looks to be that way. Okay, so that was Trogdor, uh, the the board game. Yeah, so it's a kind of just a, a kind of whimsical, um, light-hearted co-op game where you're playing the bad guys, um, and yeah, and oh yeah, you can see actually, I should have pointed this out in the manual. Um, that kind of outline there, that's a strong bad who created the the Trogdor. So that's you know that's the character from. Um, uh, Homestar Runner, the main man. So yeah, um, that looks pretty good. I'm quite happy with the production. Um, the there is there only was two backer levels I think, and the higher up level um, had the plastic miniatures, which um, I think some people really like. But I, I prefer this this cartoony kind of style of meeple. You know, this is more kind of more Mac in a bag. So yeah, so that's Trogdor the board game, um, give you a wee idea of what comes in the box. Um, hopefully I'll get it to the table soon with some friends, it looks like it'll be a good laugh. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's it. So again, thanks for watching, um, if you liked the video please, uh, you know, like, subscribe, comment, let me know what your thoughts are, you know, if you, maybe if you've played the game or know someone that's kickstarted the game, you know, then it'd be, be good to know what your experiences are. But yeah, other than that, um, thanks for watching, um, and yeah, peace out, I'll see you later. It's over!